Hi, and welcome to video 38 in my Fly Lady system. I'm laughing at myself because I had this video almost made and I got a phone call that I had to take and I totally lost my my train of thought. I started making, I think I've remade this video I don't even know how many times because I keep forgetting what I've said and what I haven't said in whatever video it was. So I'm going to do my best here because this is my last one and I want to get this done. So, why did I tell you all that? I don't know, <laughs> but welcome. If you haven't seen my previous videos, please click the playlist link below. You want to watch them one a day in order. We cover the baby steps first, and those become your routines. The routines are the foundation for the whole system. Once you feel like you have a good handle on those routines and they become more automatic to you, then you want to start adding the other components that come later in the video series, like the weekly home blessing hour or um, menu planning or zone cleaning. You don't want to watch them one right after the other, you know, like in one sitting. You do want to do it one a day um, because you, we don't, you don't want to crash and burn. It can become incredibly overwhelming. And most of us are the type of people that we just want to do it all, all at once. Just tell me everything I need to do and I'm going to start doing it. It doesn't really work that way though because we can't, it's not realistic to keep up that kind of a pace. We want to make sure that this is a lasting change that we're making. So baby steps, there's a reason why they're called baby steps. One step at a time, one day at a time. Once you've got those routines established and you move on to the next pieces, you know, this may be a process of several months. It took Fly Lady like nine months before she established her routines. It took me a few months to establish my routines. And then I added on one piece, like the weekly home blessing hour. And I did just my routines in the weekly home blessing hour for like a year before I added the other things. So it's a process. It's a journey, not a race. And this is going to be something that you are going to, you know, there's, there's no finish line, so there's no, there's no race to the end. We're just working through a process that helps to keep your house in order and give you some peace. So, with that said, we're now going to talk about the control journal. If you've been following my videos, you've already been building your control journal. You already have it started. It could be as simple as a clipboard with some paper on it or like a three ring binder with some paper in it. Um, but at this point, your control journal has got some lists, which would be like your routines. Maybe you have um, some menu planning stuff in there. You have an inspirational quotes page. Um, you might have various things in there. I'm going to show you mine. Um, I waited to show you mine till the end because yours should not look like mine. There should be parts of it that look like mine, but yours should look like yours because we all are going to have different things in our control journal. Some of it will be the same, but it should be individualized or personalized to you and your house. The way I think of a control journal is it is the manual for running your home. So let's say something happened to you or something happened, you know, you had to like leave to go take care of family or something happened to you and you're in the hospital. Somebody could come into your house, pick up your control journal, and they would have a pretty good idea of how to run and maintain your house. The other nice thing about the control journal is you don't have to remember any of it because it's all written down there for you. So the control journal is something that you build as you go. When I first started the Fly Lady system like a decade ago, um, I felt like the very first thing I wanted to do was build my control journal so that I would have that little manual and I like doing that kind of thing and then I would work on the other stuff. But really that's backwards because the control journal is built as you go. You put in pieces as you need them. So don't think that this is the first step. It's not. <laughs> this is something, this is a, a, a living document and it will evolve as time goes on. Mine certainly has. What it started as is not what it looks like now. And what it looks like now is not even really what it looks like because I put some of the old things back in so that I could kind of explain that to you. So on Fly Lady's website, she has a whole section on control journals. And she has 
all kinds of control journals. She has a basic one, and all of these are free. You can click on any of them, print them out, and there you have one. Just know that it's not going to be individualized to you. It's going to be one that she's created. She has one, just a basic control journal for your house. Then she has one for holidays. She has one for finances. She has one for students, one for an office, one for packing and moving. She has one called Camp Gonna Wanna Fly, and I believe that one's for kids, and that's like for holidays, like in the summer or something, or if you're going to do something with your kids. Um, she has the home maintenance, which is, I believe that one is like separate from just your regular control journal. That one's all about like actual specific home maintenance. She has a teacher one and a college student one. She has them in Acrobat form and Microsoft Word format. So when I started, I used the Microsoft Word format and I would click on it and then I would just alter it however I wanted to. She also has a suggested um, um, she has suggested ideas of what should go in your control journal. Why was that so hard for me? I don't even know. Um, and some of those things are like monthly reminders, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, so seasonal reminders, baby steps, the baby steps list, detailed cleaning lists for the zone cleaning, weekly home blessing hour, those kinds of things. Those are the things that she has available that you can, you know, click on and then change and you can print them out for yourself. If you've followed my videos, at this point you're, you, you don't have all of that stuff in there. And I don't even think you need to have all of that in there. If you've gone through the baby steps and you've really internalized your routines, you probably don't need to print out the whole set of baby steps, but it's there on her website. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom. There's a whole section just labeled control journals and everything is there. So some of the things that I think about with a control journal, and I, I and this is maybe not, this is now going to just be me kind of thinking out loud about this. One thing that you can do with your control journal that I've actually kind of like toyed with this idea, and I'm at the point where I'm going to use up all of the planner stuff that I have. And you know, life changes, so our planning needs change. But one of the things that you could actually really put into your control journal is your planner, so that you have everything all in one spot. Um, that's something that I've thought about a lot, is not in somehow incorporating that planning aspect into my control journal. I just am not quite there yet because I, I have so much planner stuff to work through. But I just wanted to throw that in there because I think that's incredibly, um, possible to do. So, um, what are some of the things that I have in my control journal? So I will show you this in, in just a second, but I have my routine daily. My daily routine. I wrote that backwards. Why? Um, I have my basic weekly plan. I have my zone cleaning lists. Remember, this is mine, not the fly ladies. Although I think she would say, yes, you should have these in there. <laughs> it's like a basic thing. Um, I have, I printed out into mine, um, fly ladies, 10 commandments. And I believe that was one of our um, baby steps was the 10 command or 11 commandments. As just a reminder. Um, another thing is the inspiration page. If you follow those baby steps, then you have one of those started. And uh, one of the viewers, she was really nice and listed some quotes that she liked in the comments. So de definitely check that out. Um, other things that I have included. Well, actually, why don't I just show it to you? Um, there's no sense in, in necessarily listing this out because everybody's is going to be different and you're going to see that in mine right away. So I have, this is my control journal and I use it every single day. Um, and my mom uses it when she helps me clean my house, doing the things that I can't do at this point. 
So this is just an ARC notebook, the cheap one. It's the poly cover. And all I've done is typed up most of the stuff and put it in page protectors. I use a wet erase marker or a dry erase marker so that I can mark off the things that I've done for the day and that's it. So when I started this looked a lot different than it is now and I didn't start in an ARC notebook. Um, this is what it looks like now so this is after a long time of doing this. So my basic daily plan or my routine for the day has dramatically changed from even just in October because in October I was working full time and had been for a long time so I actually had an AM and a PM routine. Now because I'm not working and I'm at home I just have my, ba my basic daily plan is what I call it. These are the things I need to get done every single day in order for my house to be basically maintained. So things like um, my dogs, cleaning up after them in the morning, getting their food and water ready, resetting the coffee. So I always do that as soon as I'm done with coffee, reset it for the next day so it's ready to go. Empty the dishwasher in the morning and then clean up any dishes as I go throughout the day. Switch and swipe my bathrooms, make my bed, do my laundry, pick up dog poop, um, do my basic weekly plan task, 15 minutes of zone cleaning, lay out tomorrow's dinner, and make sure I have all my ironing done if it, there was any ironing in the laundry. That is my basic daily plan. Anything else that I would have to do, like getting dressed to lace up shoes, that kind of thing, that's internalized. And I probably don't even really need to have this here, but the reason why I have this list is because when I had a lot of restrictions on, my, on me during my pregnancy, I couldn't even do some of these things. I still can't do some of these things. So I have this here so that I can check things off and my mom can see like, oh, she didn't get this done, I'll do this or whatever. Your routines are gonna be different, right? Depends on your needs. So like I already know every single night, I don't even have to shine my sink on here, right? Cause that is just so automatic to me. So when I shine my sink, I get my husband's lunch ready for the next day and I lay out all his things and I'm ready to go. Like these are things that I don't even need to write a reminder of. I just do them and they wouldn't be things necessarily that my mom might help me with. The next page is my basic weekly plan. I believe I showed this in my in my video on the basic weekly plan video. So I know every day I need to do my basic weekly plan. So for whatever day it is, here's the list and it tells me what I need to do. So I can check that off once I've done it. Then behind that, I have all of my zone cleaning lists. Behind that, I have the Fly Ladies 11 Commandments. So this is not the order that I used to have, but my mom doesn't need to see all of this. She's just interested in the first part that I showed you. I have my inspiration page. Then I have a divider. So one of the things that I have in here are some back exercises that my husband got from the chiropractor. Why do I have them in my control journal? Well, he's supposed to do them every day. <laughs> um, but I didn't also really know, like, where should I put these? What should I do with these? If I just leave them on his desk, it'll just stay out there. Um, and what I have in here were lower back stretches that I was doing every day so that I wouldn't have to try to remember like what sequence and how to do them. So I have a section in here. This is something that I would do daily before I couldn't do it anymore because of pregnancy. And so I put all those in here. I also had some like a basic yoga routine that I would do every day. And then there were some really short workouts to do. That I would keep in here. I still think this is good because I'm going to continue to do this once I have my baby. Beyond that, I had some stuff on ritual. Like this was five, five morning rituals that keep me, or that help me win. Uh, <laughs> why can't I read? Five morning rituals that help me win the day. So I had found this somewhere and printed it out. And um, then I found, and it talked about a gratitude journal. So I found some things on gratitude journals and I printed that out. I would likely just take this out um, at this point, but I wanted to leave this in here just to show you. I'm just really not using it anymore, but that would have been like a daily thing, right? 
one another thing that she suggests that you keep in here is important contacts because some you may have numbers that you know they're only in your phone and you want it to be in a basic place where everybody can find it so maybe like you know family babysitters or you know various emergency contacts so I do actually have them just written in here by hand so this is always on my desk in case you know my husband needs it I told him they're in there and she has a whole um, she has a whole thing on building your control journal that you can follow or not um, so this one was just on like emergency stuff and so I printed that out um, and this was like you know being prepared for an evacuation and that kind of thing I probably don't need this at this point because I've read through it but I left it in here so that you could see these are some things you might want to have in yours the next section was a meal planning section that I showed in that video and I definitely would remove this from here, um, I don't use it anymore. The next section um, that I tried to print out was her uh, financial control journal. And I may still do this. I haven't decided since we've moved, you know, our income is not, we're still trying to figure out like a budget. You know, you have to be in a place for a couple of months before you really get an idea of what is what are your costs and what is the paycheck going to look like and that kind of thing. So um, I don't think I will take this out, but that's something you could have. So that was like a budget section. She has a section on flying lessons, and I just printed this out. And this was like how to shine your sink, getting dressed to lace up shoes, um, the baby steps decluttering so all the different types of decluttering so these were in a section of her website called the flying lessons I don't need these anymore I know what these things are but in the beginning I did so um, she's got all types of ways that you declutter and she talks about taking breaks so I simply just printed the whole section how to declutter she talks about zone cleaning here so this was just a document I printed how to not get sidetracked, um, moving tips. So she has a whole section on moving and it's actually really good. I would suggest if you're moving, it's worth a read. Her method of moving is really, really awesome. Um, and I used it. <laughs> and so she has a whole section on how to move. So I didn't have this in here. I had it when I originally built my control journal and then I didn't need it. But then before we moved, I printed it out again and added it. So all of this is on moving. <laughs> she has a section on crisis cleaning. So how do you crisis clean? Um, that's just another component. She has a section on how to plan for a vacation and pack for a vacation. And I actually did use this packing list when we went on a very long road trip this past summer. Controlling chaos at your desk. So when you're at work, how do you get control of that? So this was just a you know a bunch of stuff that I found on her website that I printed out there's so much there but all of this you don't need to worry about it until you have the basics down and I feel like my video series is the basics you know then you can go to the website and check out what's on the website and read through things because at that point you won't feel overwhelmed because you'll have a good portion of things you know you'll have a good understanding of things so here is like the monthly habits, some other sections that she says you may want to include in your control journal, and that's it. In the back here, I have a pocket, and I have this book, and this was a book that just has um, a bunch of passwords and information that's important. I was keeping stamps in here, but now I'm keeping them on my desk. And I've just got an extra pocket back here in case I have something else I'd like to put in here. But I would say, on a daily basis, the only things that I look at are the first few pages, my zone cleaning lists, my routine, my weekly plan, and when I was able to, my stretches and my yoga, my small yoga routine. Those were the things I looked at on a daily basis. In the future, things that I am definitely going to consider is taking out almost all of this, 
I'll still leave the emergency numbers in. But I think I'm going to take out almost all of this. And I'm going to... I am going to create a section for meal planning because at this point I keep my meal planning in my planner but my success choice planner is going to be done on March 31st which I'm really really sad about so I have like a quarter's worth of meal plans in there I'm gonna write those out on a piece of paper and stick them in here so that I have a list of just meals that I know were successful that we liked so I'm going to keep that in here because the control journal is not going anywhere, but planners come and go. I don't want to lose that list of meal plans that I've had. So I will let, add that. I'm not going to do like the perpetual pantry and I'm not going to worry about all of that. I'm just going to have a piece of paper with a bunch of meals listed on it that I know we will like. Um, other things that I'm going to add. I believe, I, well I, I don't know but I might add a section for our baby once he's here. I don't know if I'll need something like that. And after this year is over, I really do think I want to try, and I say this year because I know I have enough uh, planners to get me through this year, at least probably several years beyond this. But I, I really do want to try incorporating my planner into my control journal. So I know that I could find a printable, or I could just, I know there are printables, of just calendars online. And, you know, a bullet journal is just you making a list of things. I could either do like a bullet journal style planner in here, or I could just go online, find a monthly calendar, print it out, and then, you know, or find like, you know, a weekly kind of thing and print it out. You know, even if I had, I, I don't know, this is something I need to work out, right? But I feel like it would be really awesome to have important, important numbers, my daily routines, and you know, zone cleaning stuff, my weekly routine, my exercise thing that I want to do daily, like the yoga and all of that, and a complete set, like a really nice list of meals to choose from, and to have my planner. So that all I'd have on my desk is one book and that book would really to me be like my control journal um, I just kinda like the idea of that the other thing to think about with this size anyway is that our is that arc by staples that's this planner they make control or <laughs> I'm sorry they make planners for this size because I'm gonna start using one in April I had a video on that so they have a monthly calendar. I'll just briefly show it to you. If you like the idea of this, because I've really thought for a long time about putting my, my, my control journal, putting my planner in my control journal. So they've got a nice big monthly calendar and they've got all the accessories that go with it. You can get post-its, you can get the, um, you can get to-do lists, you can get post-its, you can get folders, you can get page protectors, dividers, you name it, they've got the accessories for it. And then they have these big beautiful planners and the paper is excellent quality. So I don't even have to do, I wouldn't even have to do anything different. In fact, I'm just thinking to myself now, why am I having two separate books when I could just incorporate all of it into one. So now I've gone into a whole different video. I'm sorry, because now I'm thinking like, gosh, what can I do with my planner? Maybe we'll do a different video. But I've totally become sidetracked. I apologize. Um, that is another thing you could do, put a planner in here. Having said that, I need to wrap this up. <laughs> so um, if you feel like I've missed a part of the Fly Lady system, please leave that below because I, I want to have a nice comprehensive playlist of videos that explain the major components of her system. I feel like once you've watched all these, you probably have a pretty good idea of how to do this and then you can find everything else on the website. But if you feel like I need to make a video about something, please let me know. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below for me. I hope that this was helpful. 
The idea behind the control journal is it has your essential information so that you don't have to keep it in your brain. Instead, it's on the paper for you. You can just check things off. Somebody else could pick this up and help run your house if they needed to. And yours should be made for your house and for you. What do you think is important? What do you think is necessary? So I hope you enjoyed this series. Please let me know if you do go through this series, what you think when you're done or when you've, you know, started when you've gone through it how how has it helped to change your life or what do you think about the whole process i would be really interested to know because i know it changed my life and it definitely changed my life for the better so thank you so much for watching and i will see you later bye